Hey everyone, Cornish Chris here and I've got some massive news, absolutely huge news. Uh, I'm giving up <laughs> trout fishing. <laughs> Hi everyone, Cornish Chris here and uh, Happy New Year. It is uh, the uh, just halfway through January and I'm just recording a very quick video uh, basically because I've come to a huge decision in my fishing career and that is I've decided to give up trout fishing. Uh, I have been totally, uh, excuse the pun, hooked uh, on salmon fishing and I've decided uh, that what I'm going to do uh, this season uh, and maybe next season I, or for uh, however long I'm just going to concentrate on salmon fishing and so what I thought I'd do is I would go through my bag and um, I am using a couple of people have asked me about this uh, I'm using this uh, guideline reel bag and this guideline reel bag had all of this stuff stuffed into it um, you know the guideline reel bag, I, I really like it, it's good uh, good pocket sizes and all that kind of stuff, it takes everything I need, but I can't believe how much stuff I have accumulated, and this is just in this bag, uh, I have accumulated stuff um, from 20 plus years of uh, fly fishing uh, for trout, and you know what, uh, this is only half of it, maybe even a quarter of it. I've got so much stuff in other rooms and other places, down at Mum's house, everywhere. And so what I thought I'd do is I'm just going to go through and um, tidy up my stuff, sort my S out. Um, one thing I've really, uh, I really quite enjoy about salmon fishing is that you don't need that much stuff. I'm sure that probably by the end of 10 or 20 years of me doing salmon fishing, I will, I will accumulate loads and loads more stuff like this. But all of this stuff is really for salmon. So for instance, when I, uh, uh, for trout, when I uh, uh, go fishing, I've got my mayfly tin, uh, a selection of river wet flies, uh, then I've got clink hammers, uh, lakes, which I don't fish on lakes anymore ever, um, dry flies for, uh, for trout, and we're talking little small sort of dry fly stuff, uh, strike indicators, and also a little tin for when I used to go grayling fishing. But now I can get rid of all of that. So they can go. I'm not going to get rid of them because um, I don't know if I told you, but uh, these are, these are um, tobacco tins. And I, I just really love, uh, through, through the pandemic, I suppose I was getting a bit sort of... Um, mad being stuck at stuck at home and these kind of remind me of my dad uh i lost my dad when i was 21 and so you know old holborn was his uh was his brand and so these tins remind me of him so i started making uh fly boxes um so there you go uh and maybe i should do a video about that if you want me to do a video about how you make one of these uh then um you know uh just put that in the comments and maybe i'll do a video for those of you who are interested Right, so I don't need those tins anymore. Uh, trout rod, um, reel. Uh, don't think I need a selection of uh, leaders from uh, eight pound to 
What's this? Uh, two pounds. I, I think I can probably avoid, I don't need one of those. Uh, in this tin, I've got some, oh, well, I'll take those. Uh, those are ring snaps. Uh, they're good for spinning. Uh, so we'll take some of those. And then in this box, what we've we got here, another, I'm obsessed, uh, for studs, wader boots in there, loops. Oh, right. Yeah, so uh, that's the thing that goes on the end of the trout lines. So I don't need those. Sea trout. Sea trout flies. Should I take the sea trout flies, do you think? Maybe. Don't you think? Maybe sea trout flies. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take the sea trout flies. We'll keep those. Then I've got a number of uh, bits and bobs I picked up. Uh, this was given to me as a gift. Uh, all dry flies, really. Something I found at a car boot sale. Don't need those. I don't know what we've got here. Oh, empty. Don't need that. Henry Winterman's case with more flies and... Oh, that looks like a uh, something I'll take. Weird. Uh, don't know what that is. Then we've got things like Top Ride, uh, Dry Fly Floatant. Oh, maybe... What do you think? Do you think I need to dry fly floatant? I'm not sure. I mean, you guys know better than me, so... Will I be uh, fishing for salmon with a dry fly? I suppose, yes. I'm probably, maybe, maybe we'll keep it. But let me know if you think I should take that. Torch. Vital. Um, I've got some uh, posh flies here. Uh, courtesy of my friend Scott uh, for my birthday. Uh, which are some nice sort of uh, uh, posh salmon uh, tube flies. So I'm going to take those. I've got my salmon flies in another tin. Uh, which are going to need to be organised. Um, sinkant? No, probably not. Okay. A little um, little spotting scope, binocular type thing, which I've never used. Amazing, isn't it, what you pick up? No, more little flies. Some replacement backing, always worthwhile having. Uh, what do we think of these ones? Airflow, uh, poly leader, right? So we've got loads of those. 10 foot, uh, intermediate, fast sink, clear intermediate, fast sink brown, super fast sink grey, and extra fast sink black. So, got those. More casts. Uh, we've got some, uh, what have we got here? Nine foot four x six pound tapered leaders. No, I wouldn't have thought so. I don't know. Do tell me if you think I'm making a mistake and I'll put them in. Uh, a variety of zingers. Maybe. What's that? Indicator dressing. No. Uh, six pound leader. Okay, so that's uh, these are my two brands on leaders that some people have asked me about. Uh, these are uh, Maxima uh, Chameleon. Eight, that's an 18 pound breaking strength. That's a Rio uh, Powerflex, 30 pounds. Uh, what is this? I think this is uh, from the spinning rod, so I should probably have that with me as well. Uh, Rio Powerflex, five pounds. No. I'm expecting big fish. What's that? Some sort of trout rod. Studs. <sighs> Crap. Insect repellent? Definitely. Uh, when I was up in Scotland, came to be very useful in the summer. Uh, as does sun cream, all's vital. Some uh, lake lures there. 
way to repair. Ah. Euro nymphing. Uh, a Euro nymphing line. Um, I might try and put this on eBay because, you know, this is something I tried for like one day and then got seriously annoyed with it. Um, so I didn't spend a lot of money on the rod, thankfully. Cotswold Fly Fishers membership book. The colour changes every year. Uh, this was from the 2021 season. Uh, yeah, so I've um, I, I've had loads. I used to have uh, three different um, memberships of fly fishing associations uh, in this area. And this was Cotswolds when I was living up here more um, in Hertfordshire. And um, yeah, I've let that go uh, because there's no point. I'm not going to be going brown trout fishing anymore. Salmon is where it's at. Uh, a priest. Uh, to say about a priest is that I've, I haven't used a priest ooh, probably about 10 years, maybe 15 years when I quit fishing on rainbow uh, trout lakes, you know, catch and keep, you had to kill your fish. So ever since then, 15 years ago, probably was the last time I uh, dispatched a fish. So thankfully that can go in the bag, I won't need that. Um, uh, midge net, well, I've never used it. I, I was expecting it up in Scotland, but uh, never got affected at all uh, by midges. There were some around, but maybe they weren't the, the right brand. Right brand. Oh, what's this? Uh, okay. And then matching the hatch. An old book, yeah. Mainly for trout, won't need that. Tissues, yes. Forceps. I need to get some new snips. Any recommendations on snips? Because um, I lost my snips and I haven't got any new ones yet. So, and then I've got my salmon flies. So really, uh, I've got some more salmon flies there, some tube flies, and I'll also take my spinning rod um, lures. And I've got a few things in here, you know, Things that people have told me like mega bass and tobies and flying seas those kind of things uh, and all of them uh, like all the flying seas for instance i uh, was told by gilly to uh cut them down so i've just cut them down so there were three uh three hooked and i've just cut them down to one um yeah flying seas everything else so when i look at it in comparison to what it was there's not much there it's almost like I don't need this big bag anymore, but I'm sure the problem is you've got a big bag, you find stuff to put in it. So um, looking forward very much to getting uh, back on the river. Uh, so thanks very much indeed for your continued support. And I'll be bringing a video to you uh, in the next, uh, next four to six weeks. All right. Take care. Proper job.